Welcome everyone, my name is Lindsay Bouchard and I'm an MLIS student at San Jose State University. Today we will be discussing the information seeking behaviors and needs of the LGBTQIA 2S plus and queer community, barriers, risks, and how to build queer friendly libraries. There are many evolving terms used by and for the queer community, so when quoting directly from an outside source, I will use the acronyms chosen by those scholars. However, the focus of this presentation is on the overarching queer and LGBTQIA 2S plus community, broken down as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, asexual, two-spirit, and much more. To start, let's discuss the current definitions for and risks to the queer community. The queer community is a sexual and gender minority community built upon the shared desire to protect the socio-political rights, health, and safety of those who identify as LGBTQIA2S+. In recent years, U.S. state and federal governments have been flooded by anti-queer book bans and legislation. As of December 2023, 27 out of 50 states are recognized as being unsafe for transgender and gender diverse individuals, especially youths. The community's lack of access to vital health information and resources has led to what may culminate in the largest domestic migration crisis in the U.S. since the Dust Bowl upheaval of the 1940s, with 8% of all transgender people having already moved out of their community or state. This mass migration is expected to continue, and as sanctuary states begin receiving an influx of queer people into their communities, local library services will need to reflect the information needs of these refugees. Information seeking behaviors and needs do not exist within a vacuum, nor do they remain stagnant. A person's context, their gender, race, age, sexuality, and cultural background affect how they relate to, seek, and use information. LGBTQIA2S plus youth, BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and people of color, disabled, non-binary, transgender, gender non-conforming, and queer individuals from rural communities face the most risk when seeking information. Differences in information needs between queer and non-queer patrons are most prevalent during the coming out phase, or when LGBTQIA2S plus individuals begin to fully accept their queerness. Gender identity information needs can be triggered either by significant life events or be the result of a gradual awakening. In fact, people may navigate identity creation by pursuing information needs. The most common areas of need include topics of healthcare proxy, cancer, adolescent depression and suicide, adoption, sexual health and practices, HIV infection, surrogate parenting, mental health issues, transgender health issues, intimate partner violence and intimate partner loss, as well as questions about legal rights, finding a culturally competent healthcare provider, name and gender marker changes on various legal documents, and the physical effects of hormone therapy. Many information theories have been applied to the queer community, but of particular interest to this presentation is Bates's 2017 Principle of Least Effort, or how information seekers often resort to the method or source which requires the least effort in exchange for the most gain. In the case of the queer community, the principle must be adjusted to include least effort with the greatest chance of survival. Convenience is the most common motivating factor in queer source selection, but the internet and friends are utilized more often than healthcare providers or public libraries, where the risk of discrimination and being outed is higher. The LGBTQ community is often the target of information suppression and censorship, and transgender persons frequently experience discrimination, from disrespect and harassment to violence and outright denial of service. In public libraries, homophobia among staff, lack of materials, and difficulty in locating information are persistent issues. And there's an inherent paradox between libraries as public space and the queer community's need for confidentiality. The community's lack of information stems from the systemic failings of information institutions and the barriers and risks associated with queer information seeking. Barriers are obstacles, such as homophobia or transphobia, and risks signify perceived exposure to danger, harm, or loss that might result from engaging in information seeking, such as physical violence, homelessness, and misgendering. Two prominent barriers are the current cataloging practices utilized by libraries, specifically the fact that controlled vocabularies often exist in opposition to queerness, and a lack of quality online resources. 
There is no singular term used by or for the queer community. In Hooten and at All's 2020 study, interviewees used more than a single word when describing their gender identities, and often definition was not experienced as clear-cut or unambiguous. The fluidness and spectrum with which gender and sexuality are experienced means that controlled vocabularies utilized by libraries often do not serve the queer community due to their use of terms that they have familiarity with from other sources. In this way, search engines that do not require controlled vocabularies are often more utilized by the queer community as they can help information seeking on marginalized topics when the vocabulary about the subject is not well known. The queer community, especially youths, are more likely than their straight or cisgender peers to access health information, including sexual health information, and LGBTQ news online versus offline. And it is likely that LGBTQ youth will continue to consume online resources at higher rates, despite significant concerns about incorrect, incomplete, and unverified content. However, libraries and other information centers can combat issues of information quality by making efforts to provide safe LGBTQIA 2S plus online spaces and resources to their patrons. LGBTQIA 2S plus individuals are more likely to use libraries and other public information sources if there are visibly queer displays, events, and staff. Suggestions for curating more queer-friendly online spaces include adding rainbow flags, photos of same-sex couples, and pronouns to websites and email signatures, but efforts must go beyond visible queerness. Libraries are forces of social good and have an obligation to foster social justices and help communities fight inequality and polarization. Queer individuals want to see themselves represented in information spaces, but services such as Drag Queen Story Hours, while doing excellent work to normalize LGBTQIA 2S plus existence, do little to meet the actual information needs of the community. Libraries should offer in-person and online resources on relevant health-related topics, such as hormone therapy, host talks centered around queer experiences, partner with LGBTQIA 2S plus collections and archival projects, and consider context when offering queer-friendly services, specifically who is presenting information and how. Understanding queer information-seeking behaviors means hiring librarians and other staff who are either visibly queer or well-trained in LGBTQIA2S plus culture, issues, and information needs. The LGBTQIA2S plus and queer community is one whose marginalization means that members are in desperate need of safe spaces where they can access accurate, recent information about themselves and the issues they face. In order to build queer-friendly libraries, basic LGBTQIA 2S plus education must take place at every level regarding the intersectional barriers and risks that affect queer information access. Failure to learn and address these barriers condones and reinforces them, and a lack of identifiable action toward a positive end for the LGBTQ community is in itself a barrier. Thank you all for your time. I hope this presentation was enlightening. The reference list will be included in the video description for ease of access. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day and enjoy the rest of the conference. Bye.